On the 10th of February 2025, something incredible happened in Africa, precisely in Zimbabwe, that disrupted the entire automobile and energy industry. A young African launched his groundbreaking inventions, the world's first free energy vehicle, a car that requires no fuel, no recharging, and no external input to operate. Meet the Safe, an electric car that never needs charging, has an unlimited driving range, produces zero emissions, and can power an entire home. And that's not all. He also launched a luxury power bikes that needs no fuel nor recharging, television sets that need no batteries or power supply, and a green power off-grid machine that produces clean energy without a single drop of fuel, all powered by his revolutionary microsonic energy technology, a device that converts naturally occurring radio frequencies into pure energy, effectively providing an infinite power source for vehicles, motorbikes, and generators. Unlike solar power or electric cars, which require periodic charging or direct sunlight, this technology works anywhere on Earth or at sea, making it a potential game-changer in global energy consumption. In fact, this young African didn't just launch a car, he launched a technology that the world has never seen before. His inventions are mysterious and revolutionary, and how they haven't broken the internet yet the way it would have, if Elon Musk have unveiled something similar, is something I still can't explain. What this young man has done is something scientists have deemed impossible. Critics have argued that his invention defies the laws of physics, especially the first law of thermodynamics, which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transformed. His life has been threatened multiple times because of his ingenuity and inventions. Despite skepticism about the validity and reliability of his inventions, in this video, we shall unpack every single one of his inventions, how they operate, and why the world is yet to recognize and celebrate him. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos about young African inventors disrupting industries. Maxwell Chikumbutso was born in 1980 in Zimbabwe, a country facing significant socio-economic challenges, including energy shortages and high unemployment rates. He grew up in the suburbs of Harare. His early life was marked by hardship and poverty, forcing him to drop out of school at the age of 14. Dropping out of school did not stop him from pursuing his dream of becoming an engineer. At a very young age, Chikumbutso displayed an extraordinary ability to invent and build complex devices using scrap materials. He started off by working on crafting gadgets such as radio transmitter, digital navigators, and turbine engines. His love for technology was purely self-taught, driven by an unshakable belief in his God-given abilities. According to Chikumbutso, his inventions are divinely inspired ideas that he receives in visions during the night. Chikumbutso inventive spark ignited further in 2009 when he shifted his focus to green energy. He envisioned a world where power could be harnessed from the very air around us, leading him to the development of his revolutionary microsonic energy technology. This technology, according to Maxwell, functions by means of capturing and converting radio waves into usable energy, a concept that has both intrigued and baffled the scientific community. Here are some of his inventions. First, the Scythe. The flagship product of this innovation is a vehicle known as the Scythe, which was developed in partnership with a Chinese company that provided the vehicle shell and essential components. However, the real magic lies in its energy system, which grants it an unlimited drive range with a top speed of 220 km per hour, putting it in direct competition with high-performance electric vehicles currently in the market. This impressive speed combined with its unlimited range makes the Saith a compelling option for drivers who desire both sustainability and exhilarating performance. It's not just about saving the planet, it's about enjoying the thrill of the drive. Adding another layer of practicality, the Saith features a home power supply capability, similar to Tesla's Powerwall Tech technology. The car can act as a backup power source for a household in the event of a power outage, or even as a regular supplement to a home's energy. The Saith can seamlessly switch to powering lights appliances and other essential devices. This feature transforms the car from a mode of transportation into a valuable asset for energy independence and resilience. Of course, the Scythe's most significant advantage is its environmental friendliness because it doesn't require fuel or traditional charging. The car produces zero tailpipe emissions. This contributes to cleaner air, reduces reliance on fossil fuels, 
and helps mitigate the effects of climate change. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, the scythe is designed with affordability in mind. Maxwell Chikumbutso estimates the manufacturing cost to be around $14,000 per unit. This price point is significantly lower than most electric vehicles currently available in the market globally, making the car potentially accessible to a much wider market. If mass-produced, this affordability could democratize access to electric transportation, particularly in developing nations where cost is a major barrier. Second, self-sustaining power bike. One of Maxwell Chikumbutso's invention is a self-sustaining power bike that also runs on microsonic energy. This motorbike does not need fuel or recharging and has been designed for both racing and commercial use. The bike is reliable and sleek. Currently, there is no official price released for the racing bike, but its affordable production cost means it could become widely accessible in Africa and beyond. 3. The Green Power Off Grid Machine The Green Power Off Grid Machine is another groundbreaking invention by Maxwell that generates electricity using the same microsonic principle. This device can generate electricity without solar panels or traditional energy grids, and can supply hundreds of households. If fully developed, this can be a solution for Africa's energy crisis. It could provide cheap and clean energy to rural areas with limited or no access to electricity. 4. Wireless Self-Powered Television Chikumbutso once showcased a television set that does not require external power supply. At the heart of this technology is the same microsonic energy system that converts radio frequencies into usable electricity. This means the TV can run indefinitely without relying on cords, cables, or batteries. The benefits of this self-powered TVs, if they get produced in a large scale, are truly transformative. Millions of people living in remote areas without access to electricity can be able to enjoy entertainment and educational content. Moreover, households in urban centers, too, can save significantly on electricity bills, as traditional TVs are notorious energy guzzlers. The self-powered TV that we have uh, designed, the first in the world to have such kind of a technology, where a television is powered with a radio frequency. So as you can see, right now I'm powering this television. Uh, so this is the first uh, television in the world that uses self-power to say. It is all in one. You don't need to put it on electricity or on solar panel or anything. As it is, it is a complete solution. Behind the television, you can see that there is a microsonic energy device, this box. This is the device that is converting radio frequencies into pure energy. As you can see, the power of the cable was supposed to be here. On all traditional televisions, power comes here, but there's no power as you can see. The television is, it is working as it is. Recognizing the significance of this milestone, Zimbabwean President Emerson Mnangagwa recently met with Chikumbutso at State House in Harare to commend him for his ingenuity. The president described this invention as a world first and emphasized the need to support and nurture such homegrown talent. He lauded the young inventor as an example of the national development mantra. The Zimbabwean government is now exploring avenues to establish a vehicle manufacturing plant within the country, ensuring this revolutionary technology is developed and produced locally. If realized, this initiative could position Zimbabwe as a global hub for next-generation energy solutions, attracting international investors and putting the country on the map as a leader in clean energy technology. Skepticism about his inventions and why the world has ignored him. Maxwell's Chikumbutsi's inventions are innovative and groundbreaking, but so far the reception to this technology has been rather disappointing. His invention has not received a lot of attention outside of Zimbabwe, and we are going to explore some reasons why. One of the biggest hurdles Maxwell faces is skepticism. His claims of creating a car that runs on radio waves requiring no fuel or recharging have been met with doubt from scientists, engineers, and even some people within his own country. Critics argue that his invention defies the laws of physics, especially the first law of thermodynamics, which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transformed. Maxwell's device, which supposedly converts ambient radio frequencies into usable energy to power a vehicle, raises questions about where this energy is coming from. If the device is generating more energy than it's taking in from radio waves, 
It would violate this fundamental law. Maxwell has not provided a clear explanation of how his technology circumvents this principle. Some speculate that his device might be tapping into an unknown or UNC conventional energy source, while others believe it could be a misinterpretation of how the energy is being harnessed. Until Maxwell provides a detailed scientific explanation or allows independent testing, the skepticism surrounding his invention will persist. But this skepticism isn't unique to Maxwell. African inventors often face an uphill battle when it comes to gaining global trust. The narrative that groundbreaking innovations can only come from Western countries like the United States or Europe is deeply ingrained. When an African inventor claims to have achieved something extraordinary, the default reaction is often disbelief. Let's be honest, if Elon Musk had announced a car powered by radio waves that would be ready by 2035, the world would be in a frenzy. Headlines would dominate every major news outlet and social media would explode with discussions. But when Maxwell Chikumbutso makes the same claim of a product that is available today, without any promises that never come true like Elon Musk, the reaction is more of nothing serious is happening over there. Why? Because the world still struggles to see African inventors as equals in the global innovation race. There's a subconscious bias that assumes African inventors lack the resources, education, or infrastructure to create something revolutionary. This bias is unfair and harmful. It suppresses innovation and discourages talented individuals in Africa from pursuing their ideas unless they move to America or Europe. Maxwell's story is a perfect example of how African inventors are often overlooked even when their work has the potential to change the world. Another reason why Maxwell's invention hasn't gone viral is the lack of visibility outside Zimbabwe. While he has demonstrated his technology to Zimbabwean President Emerson Mnangagwa and local media, there's been no independent verification or demonstration on a global stage. Maybe now that his product is available to be purchased, maybe we could see some independent experts testing it and letting us know if it's real or just a scam. For a technology to gain worldwide recognition, it needs to be tested and validated by independent experts. Elon Musk companies like Tesla and SpaceX regularly invite journalists, scientists, and engineers to witness their innovations firsthand. Maxwell, on the other hand, has yet to provide this level of transparency, which leaves a very big room for doubt. And we just hear about his inventions, but we haven't seen a working prototype. Even after the product launch, people still don't know how to go about buying his product. But maybe his target market is industries that build cars. These reasons are more are some of the reasons why his inventions are yet to gain recognition worldwide. To conclude, if the free energy vehicle and its microsonic energy system deliver as promised, the world could be on the cusp of an energy revolution that redefines transportation, sustainability, and economic independence. However, with such an ambitious and disruptive innovation, questions remain about its scalability, regulatory approvals, and widespread adoption. Will established industries and energy corporations embrace or resist this shift? Will this technology receive the global support it deserves? Or will it face challenges from powerful stakeholders who benefit from the status quo? Maxwell Chikumbutso's free energy vehicle represents more than just a remarkable scientific breakthrough. It embodies the limitless potential of human ingenuity and a vision for a cleaner, self-sustaining future. If successfully implemented, it could redefine how the world consumes and distributes energy, making Zimbabwe a pioneer in the field of free energy technology.